Hey guys, this is Jeremy from How To Hockey with The Hockey Movement, and in this video I'm doing a review of the Slideboard Pro from HockeyShot.com. The Slideboard is a really fun workout device, you can set it up pretty much anywhere you want, put it in your living room, and it gives you that feeling like you're skating, because you're going to be sliding back and forth on it, and it's really similar to the skating stride, so yes, you can skate in your living room. Uh, so I have done a review of them before, except this is a new one from Hockey Shot, so I'm setting it up, going to give you a close-up look, and also give you some of my favorite drills to do on a slideboard. Let's get right to it. All right, I got the slideboard all set up. I won't spend a lot of time talking about it, because that's boring, but this is what it comes with. You got the slideboard, you got the two stoppers there, and you got these booties to put on your shoes so you can slide back and forth. So this is a really slick piece of plastic. Uh, even with socks on, you can slide on it. The stoppers are both uh, the same, I think. So it's got this foam cushion right here so you can push off with your feet. This is nice and durable feeling plastic, uh, nice and solid. It's got a handle here, I think, for doing workouts like lunges and mountain climbers and stuff. How you set it up is you lay the sheet out, you wedge it in between uh, the stopper, and then you just twist these knobs, and that's going to make it nice and tight. So on the other side, underneath, it's got this heavy rubber uh, stopper, and that's going to keep the slide board from moving back and forth. So you can slide back and forth, but this thing won't be shifting underneath your feet. So it looks like a really good setup, pretty simple. Let's test it out. So we can start with the basic stride here, just going back and forth, but what's important is that good form. So really deep knee bend, staying nice and low, having that head up and the chest up, pointing the toes each time when you push off, and then also moving the arms, but not really throwing them wildly back and forth. So by doing that, you're working on that good form. So you can see the basic functions of the slide board there. You can see that it was nice and slick. I was sliding back and forth really easily. And you can really see that resemblance to the skating stride that you're going to be taking on the ice. So for that purpose, uh, you know, it's a pretty good way to simulate that stride at home. However, if you're only sliding back and forth, you'll probably get tired of it eventually. But the good news is there's all kinds of drills that you can do on a slide board. So I'm going to show you a few of my favorites. And if you do pick one of these up, you can come up with a whole bunch on your own and just work it into your routine that you're already doing at home. Now we can pump it up a notch because now I got a 20 pound medicine ball and that's going to add a lot of weight to your slide. Every push is like you're pushing an extra 20 pounds across the mat. It's also going to work your core. Now we got your mountain climbers. This is a great one because you get a full extension from each leg, work on your flexibility, and also good cardio workout. This is a good workout that I got from Gary Roberts when I was working out with Steven Stamkos. Lucky me. I'm actually cheating right now, but the reason I like this one is because you're usually always doing pushing and jumping with your legs. This one is a pull exercise that you can do at home. Now, the reason I'm cheating is my hands are right here. If I want to make it harder, I'm going to put them out here, and then my legs have to really do the work. If I want to make it even harder, lift one leg and try to do it oh, with one leg. It's harder than it looks. This is a really good core exercise that you can do. So you start in the plank position and then you push your legs back and then pull back. And the farther out you go, the harder it's going to be to pull back in, but the better workout that you get. Another great leg exercise you can do are the reverse lunges. These ones are a little bit different than the normal lunges you do because you're actually sliding backwards and sliding forwards. And of course, you want to pump it up a notch, grab a weight ball, add some weight to it. And for reasons I don't have to explain, my favorite workout is to grab a shooting pad, toss it down, and do some stick handling. Using the slide board while you're stick handling is a great way to really focus on good techniques. So you can kind of think about what you're doing, make sure you have that good knee bend, make sure your hand positioning is right, also make sure that you're stick handling with your head up. So this is an awesome way to get those reps in with your head up without anyone watching and you know just getting that feel for the puck. All right, to wrap up the review, just going to do my overall thoughts and some recommendations. So overall, I love the slide board. You can see it's really slick and really simulates that skating feeling. So I love it. Uh, well built, durable, seems like it's going to last a long time. No real downsides to it. Would I recommend it to hockey players? Absolutely, if you're already working out at home. You got a routine, work this into your routine. It's going to give you all kinds of new possibilities. So I recommend getting into a fitness routine first. Create some good habits, a good routine, and once you can stick to working out, uh, you know, for a month, then start thinking about picking one of these up and working into your routine. If you want to pick up the Slideboard Pro, I do have a link down there in the video description. Just click on that. And I have a coupon code. It's going to save you $10, help you keep a little more money in your piggy bank. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe because we do new hockey videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.